Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, I want to take you on a journey into the fascinating world of generative AI and prompt engineering. As someone who's just starting out, I know how overwhelming it can be to navigate these complex topics. So I'm here to share what I've learned and how I'm guiding myself through this exciting landscape. Let's dive in. First off, let's talk about what generative AI and prompt engineering actually are and how they're different. Generative AI is all about creating new content. This could be anything from text, images, music, and even videos. Think of it as a way for machines to mimic human creativity. Popular examples include tools like GPT-4 for text generation and DAL-E for image creation. On the other hand, prompt engineering is the art and science of crafting the right prompts to get the desired output from these AI models. It's not just about asking a question. It's about understanding how to phrase that question to get the best possible response. It's like being a guide for the AI, leading it to produce the best content it can. Now, let's explore the basic parts of generative AI and what beginners should know about them. One, data collection. Generative AI models need a lot of data to learn from. This data can be in the form of text, images, audio, or video. For example, if you're training a text generation model, you might use a large collection of books, articles, or web pages. Two, model training. This is where the magic happens. During training, the AI model learns patterns and structures in the data. For text models, this might include grammar, vocabulary, and writing style. Training a model requires significant computational power and time. Three, generating content. Once trained, the model can generate new content based on the patterns it has learned. For instance, a text model can write essays, stories, or even code. The quality of the generated content depends on how well the model was trained and the quality of the input data. 4. Fine-tuning and evaluation. After the initial training, the model can be fine-tuned for specific tasks or improved based on feedback. Evaluation involves testing the model's output to ensure it meets the desired quality and accuracy standards. Next, let's dive deeper into the world of prompt engineering. One, crafting effective prompts. The first step in prompt engineering is learning how to craft effective prompts. This means being clear and specific about what you want the AI to generate. The better your prompt, the better the output. Two, experimenting with prompts. Don't be afraid to experiment. Try different phrasings and approaches to see how the AI responds. This is a crucial part of the learning process. Three, understanding AI behavior. Pay attention to how the AI behaves with different prompts. Understanding these patterns will help you refine your approach and get better results. Four, iterative process. Prompt engineering is iterative. You might not get the perfect output on the first try, and that's okay. Keep refining your prompts based on the AI's responses until you get the desired outcome. So what should beginners know about generative AI? Here are some key points. One, start with basics. Before diving into generative AI, it's important to have a solid understanding of the basics of AI and machine learning. This includes concepts like algorithms, neural networks, and data preprocessing. Two, explore simple models. As a beginner, start with pre-trained models and simple tasks. This allows you to get hands-on experience without needing extensive computational resources or expertise. Three, understand ethical implications. Generative AI can sometimes produce biased or harmful content. It's crucial to be aware of these ethical considerations and strive to create responsible AI systems. Four, practice and experiment. The best way to learn is by doing. Keep experimenting with different prompts and models and analyze the results to improve your understanding and skills. So there you have it. Generative AI and prompt engineering are incredibly exciting fields with a lot to offer. Whether you're just starting out like me or looking to deepen your knowledge, there's always something new to learn and explore. Remember, the key is to stay curious, keep experimenting, and never stop asking questions. Thanks for joining me on this journey. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future updates. Until next time, happy learning.